All right, here's an update on Biden. Uh, as you can see, the eyes are detailed, the mouth has been detailed, and it's in place. Um, I'm now doing a, I've also got the hair um, stroked and done. It's not smoothed yet, but it's uh, sculpted. And I'm now doing a skin texture. So what we do with the skin texture is take an orange. And notice, notice how the texture of an orange is very similar to my hand. Oranges are used quite often in sculpture. And so what we do to make a texture stamp, like I have already stamped on his cheek right here, um, what we do is we paint liquid latex onto an orange. When it's dry, we peel it off and it becomes a negative of this. So it will look just like this on the skin. And this has little uh, dimples sticking out of it. Uh, all the texture is sticking out of it. And so you invert it so it actually fits your fingers nicely. And you roll it like this onto the skin. And that makes, so this doesn't have it yet. Let me go ahead and press that on there. You see that coming? Look at that. Isn't that cool? This is a skin texture coming from an orange. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, looks good. And we do that, we're careful. Now, is this navel or Valencia? <laughs> this one was a navel. Um, is that key? It's key. Usually you do Republicans. Oh, sorry, not in, key line. Oh, oh no. All right. It's a great effect. It's amazing how just that addition of texture really brings it out of a sculpture world into looking more human. Yeah. And when this is latex, then it's going to really be nice because we airbrush and, you know, do all of the paint. And, of course, he'll have white hair, so he'll be very, very Biden-esque. And uh, as I continue to do this, um, that's one of the last steps. Then, of course, I smooth out the hair. I go through all of that detail. And the next thing we do is we move on to the mold making process. And I'll be prepping the clay for the mold, which means I'll be putting a, a surface sealer on it. And once that's done, uh, we'll make the mold. And that will be the master mold. And then we make another mold, which is the production size mold. So we can always make more production molds from the master mold. Very interesting process. Glad we could share it together right now on this historic time in our political history.